Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Welcome back, Libra. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Libra. I hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Libras, as it takes care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages source your guardian angels and your ancestors have here for you today. Shout out to the evolving spirits and the beautiful Patreon soul family. Thank each and every one of you all for your time here, your support, and allowing me to assist each and every one of you all a part of your spiritual journeys, all right? I appreciate you, soul family. And welcome to the ones that are new here. Thank you all for tuning in today. I definitely hope the content here today fulfills your spirit, all right? And if so, like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, Libra, as well. All right, so no further ado, let's dive in. We're going to start off with an oracle message here from the energy that you are around or exchanging energies here with or this person here that is on your mind. And then we're going to dive into tarot. We're going to see what's going on here in your past, your present, and your future here. And of course, we'll close out with my raw tarot index cards to get more insight and detail regarding this connection and this person and just how they feel about you. All right, so no further ado, Libras, let's dive in. Let's see what here is the hidden truth about this energy and this connection with this person at this time, all right? Wow, I knew exactly what I was doing. Wow. So someone here that you, of course, had exchanged energies here with for some of you all, not all of you all, right? But however, whomever it resonates for, someone was doing something that they knew what they were doing, okay? Right, this is in a positive, good way, setting the intentions towards this relationship here with you to take things to the next level. Others of you all, it could have been in a way where it wasn't so positive, where it was in a way where they knew what they were doing was wrong, okay? So someone here seems like they want to confess this to you or hold themselves accountable for what this is that they have done that they knew that they were doing exactly of okay so wow let's get into this here let's see how this all ties in together all right again definitely if that resonated for you like subscribe all right let's now dive into the tarot let's see what took place here in the past here wow seven of wands i'm loving how she has the red on as well yes but however here this energy here is more focused here in her defending herself, right? She's making sure to set some boundaries here. So this is up against an energy where someone feels uncomfortable being around this person or this situation without having to guard themselves. As you can see, just her positioning and how she's standing here, she's making sure to prospect to, excuse me, protect her energy in her space at this time. She's making sure that no one comes over and cross lines with her. She has her shield out in front of her. So you all may feel like with this relationship or this person here that you exchange energies here with in the past, all right, you now have to guard yourself from this person because of, again, whatever that they've done here, that they knew exactly what they were doing here. So because of that, you're protecting your space. You're making sure that this person don't disrespect you or try to cross you or, you know, do a situation again behind your back. So as this person comes in here to communicate with you, to call you, to text you, you put your guard up immediately each and every time because of this situation here, which I understand if someone showed themselves or their true colors by their choices that they make, that will allow anyone to be here and guarding themselves, right? So nothing wrong with that. That's completely normal. And don't feel bad for that because, you know, you have people in energies that will try to gaslight you and make it feel like that this is a problem 
that you're doing this to them. It's not a problem. It's only normal to do if someone crosses boundaries with you and know what they did. That is not normal, okay? That is something that they need to be held accountable for. So this is why you may felt like this way because you had to guard yourself. And by you guarding yourself, seems like someone here in the past had the audacity to say that, oh, you're doing that because of this or I'm doing that because of that. No, you're protecting your space and your energy because of the lies or however this person portrayed you in the past. And because you knew that and you even found out exactly what they've done here, of course, this is how you're going to show up. So they have to respect that and hold themselves accountable for that. So in the future, maybe you don't have to be so guarded, right, when this person comes around. So let's see what's going on here in the present moments here. Yeah, look at that. So what I see here in your present moments here, Libra, with the Count Syrian energy here, this is the chariot, all right? Some of you all, this person may be a Cancer or a water sign here, Libra, or they could also be a fire sign here with the seven of ones that is Sagittarius Leo and Aries energy there as well but you are deciding to move forward here in the present moments here some of you are literally now may be deciding to move or relocate if you were in a committed relationship with this person where you two maybe was under the same roof or stayed together in a home you are now deciding to move out or just go more into a peaceful environment for yourself where you feel like there is more like-minded people around you that is more in your energy, right? Versus the space or the environment that you may feel like that you were in the past around this person or around the environment that you and this person was around. You want a fresh start, I feel like, for yourself, Libra. You want to recenter and ground yourself in a better space that's going to be more healthy and happy for you right so let's now see what the future hold now that we know all this information here okay wow look at that the temperance yes you're ready to balance things out for yourself your overall experience and just where you're at in life i feel all right this is sagittarius energy here as well some of you all may be exchanging energies or getting to know this fire sign or this sagittarius here Libra as well, but this Sagittarius energy is what is again bringing balance into your life, into your uh, everyday routine, and just things that you are now choosing as you go along your spiritual journey, all right? So you took the necessary steps here. You made sure in the past to protect your space and your energy moving forward. You decided to remove yourself from frequency vibrations that you knew that was not on your level or just where you were at in life. And by you doing that, this allowed you to be more balanced. This allowed to have more balanced, reciprocated relationships as well. So by you putting out with the old, getting rid of people, places, and situations here. I feel like Libra that no longer resonated with you in the past. By you doing that, this is now where you're headed in a peaceful environment and connecting and having peaceful and abundant relationships here. I love it. Wow, Libra. Definitely if you love it so far, hit that like button again, loves share the love all right with this content this message for who you know may need this message here today and evolve it all right evolve 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 that's what i talk about on this channel all the time we are here and yes we are evolving and i see that here with this temperance energy right i see the experience here from the past all the way up until now and it has put you in your divine higher self all right and you're more tuned with your higher self and you're allowing your spirit and your higher self to guide you in your intuition along your journey now and i love this so wow let's see how your person here feel let's see what they want to say or more like this energy here from your past or even the energies that are surrounding you right now. Let's see what they want to say uh, as we close out your reading today. Again, if you enjoy the content, subscribe. We would love to have you here, Libra, part of our soul family. And if you would love to book a personal reading, Libra, the email is down below in the description box for you to book a personal reading. And definitely come on over to the Patreon family if you would love your readings more on a... Um, 
regular, I would say, and for all the other Zodiac signs that is now available on Patreon. You also get daily content there, free live stream questions with me on camera, all right, in ways to spiritually, mentally, and emotionally evolve, right? That is the whole key here on this platform. So let's now see what this person wants to say as we close out your reading today. Wow, I am coming to get you. Oh my goodness, Libra here. So someone here is coming to get you. Wow, because they want you so bad. Well, look at there. I want you so bad, Libra, that I am coming to get you. Well, 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 some of you all have someone that is just as much as encouraging as you are here. So rather, this is this person from the past who realized and knew exactly what they've done here. Some of y'all may be reconciling with this person here. Others of you all here, there is someone here that is new that you met as you traveled to this other environment or city or when you moved and relocated. You're meeting someone new here or you will be, okay? And then, wow, we have the other woman here, okay? So there could have been another woman involved is to why this person here may knew exactly what they were doing. So some of you all, there could have been a third party situation here where someone had either cheated on you, Libra, or they were being cheated on. But there was for some of you all, not all of you all, a other woman that was involved here, okay? Wow, let's get one more card out here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, as I said that, we got third party. So there definitely was a third party here for some of you all with this person here, okay? Yeah, and last card is all, oh, I want love in my life, okay? So someone here just wants to be loved, right? If that's you, Libra, or an energy here that you're coming across. Because again, I keep, of course, getting the energy from your past here that is going to be coming in to reconcile, communicate with you. But I also get someone new, because some of you all have already moved. Some of you all have already even started a, maybe a new career for yourselves or you're in a new environment. And you've already met someone as you are in this new environment or energy or location is what I'm also picking up here as well. Wow, Libra, beautiful reading there for you today. Definitely, if that resonated, we would love to have you here, part of our soul family. Like, subscribe, share the content here. And again, if you love the Raw Tarot Index cards, come on over to the OnlyFans page where I do post daily check-ins for all the zodiac signs where you get energy check-ins to kind of get a feel of what the readings are going to be expected of and the energies for each zodiac sign so definitely if that's something that you're interested in i have all different color cards with all different energies and meanings and words and feelings that are on the cards as well. So definitely we would love to have you there as well. I appreciate each and every one of you all, Libra. Thank you so, Tribe, and I look forward to your next reading, my loves. Bye-bye.